hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl team line your favorite nail tech and i'm back here again with another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you how i do a refill also make sure you like and subscribe to my channel you liking and subscribing to my channel helps boots my content and it helps other beginner nail techs and while you're at it make sure you follow me on instagram and tiktok i will link those descriptions those links in my description box all right now so let's just jump into it right here in this video i am removing the gel polish off of my client's nails she currently has acrylic nails this is a first time client so this set that she has now i did not do and she honestly said that she got this set done in january so if you sorry about the angle of the camera guys i'm going to work on better camera angling um so you guys can see the whole thing but if you keep watching you will see me removing the gel off of her nails and you will see how much it has grown out like it's literally been over a month so we're gonna go ahead and remove the gel off our nails and we, we this is step one we're gonna bring this lady back to life okay All right, so now that we've removed all of the gel polish off of her acrylic nails, I'm gonna go in with my cuticle pusher and I'm gonna push back all of her cuticles. It is important that you push back cuticles because when you're laying acrylic, you do not want the acrylic to overlap on the cuticles and then water and oil gets under that acrylic and it starts lifting. If you girls ever have issues with lifting, it's probably because you're not pushing back those cuticles and cutting them when necessary. So make sure before you start your set that you are, uh, before you start your set or refill, you are pushing back those cuticles. Again, I'm so sorry guys about the angle. It's a trial and error because when I'm working, I the camera is kind of above me and I can't really see, you know, how it's angling. Um, so I will work on next time I make a video on better angling so you guys can get a good view and get, you know, really see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so once you finish pushing back the cuticles, then you're going to go ahead with your sanding band and you're going to remove the shine off of the nails. And also I want to add, not only am I removing the shine off the new growth nail, the natural nail, but I'm also removing any lifting from the acrylic nail. Because this client has went over a month without getting a refill, she had some lifting. And I had to go in there and really kind of like get in there with my drill and get all that lifting off before you when you're doing a refill before you lay that new acrylic you have to go over that old acrylic and make sure it is smooth you do not want any lifting you cannot lay new acrylic over old lifting acrylic you have to get that up because if you don't get it up then it's going to lift like it's all going to lift and it's just going to be bad and you can possibly give somebody a greenie so take the extra time take the extra step to remove any old acrylic that is lifting so that when you lay that new acrylic you know that this person is not going to get a greenie this person no is not going to lift and your work is going to be of good quality
Okay, so once you remove the shine off the natural nail, the new growth, and you've also gotten all that lifting off of the old acrylic, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna prime the natural nail, AKA the new groove. So what I use is I use rubbing alcohol. First, you're gonna dehydrate. So I use rubbing alcohol to dehydrate the nail. I know I didn't show you guys um, in this clip, but I definitely use um, rubbing alcohol to dehydrate the nails. After you do that, you wanna use a bonder. I like Young Nails Bonder. There are plenty of bonders out there. You're gonna go through bonders. You're gonna try whatever, whatever. But listen, Young Nails is name brand and it works, okay? They got a good, a lot of good reviews, so it works. So I use, in this clip, you're gonna see me use a different um, primer. So I went and I used my rubbing alcohol and I also use another type of primer. Um, I can't think of the brand. I will link the brand in the description box. Um, or I'll actually, I'll probably insert the name right here so that you guys can see it. But I use another another brand, um, like a, pro, uh, a, a primer type thing. And then I go in with my bonder, my Young Nails bonder. So this is what I'm doing. I'm prepping that new growth and making sure we get in that that thing right so when we lay that new acrylic that acrylic is not going to lift period okay so now we done laid our prep down we got our prep perfect and ready to go we can go ahead and lay this acrylic down we about to get our girl right okay So this is probably the only thing I regret about doing this set is she did tell me in advance that she wanted um, an almond shape. She wanted her nose to be almond shaped. So we were going from a square to an almond. I should have formed her almond shape before I laid the acrylic because it is always easier to do it beforehand. Um, even though she already had acrylic on there, but her acrylic was so old and so like thin that I could have easily shaped it and then laid the new acrylic on top of it. So I did the opposite. So I laid the new acrylic on top of it and then I went in and, and <laughs> shaped the nail with my drill. So in this clip, you see me going ahead and trying to shape her nail with a coarse bit drill. Um, and yeah, and then after I shape it, then I go in with the regular 8080 hand file and I just, you know, redefine the shape, but yeah. So if you have a client, this is just advice for new beginners. This is a beginner video. If you have a client and your client wants to change their shape and they're getting a refill, you know, just go ahead. And when you taking off that polish, that gel polish from their old set, just go ahead and shape it right then and there. To be honest with you, you're going to save yourself some time. At least carve out the shape with your gel. Even if you don't, you don't redefine it with the the manual file yet but just go ahead and carve the shape out with your 
drill bit and then just go from there. So once we are done laying the acrylic and shaping, we're going to go in with our medium ceramic bit and we're going to smooth out the surface. We're going to smooth it out for gel polish, but most importantly, we're going to go around the cuticle area and we're going to seal the cuticle because we don't want no oil, no water, no debris to get under that acrylic set and cause lifting. So make sure you guys are sealing that cuticle area and you're also using that bit to smooth out the polish. So we can have a smooth application when we are applying our gel polish. Okay, so now I'm going in with my sanding band to make sure it's like super smooth. I don't know if this just be me being extra or if every nail tech does it. I know the girls in my shop do it. Um, but once we go through with our metal bit or ceramic bit um, to smooth out the nail for polish, we also go back in with a sanding band to i guess further smooth it out i don't know it just makes it look so much better and gives it like an extra smooth feel to it and once i go ahead and buff and polish okay the surface is smooth no lumps or bumps period So once you're done sanding the nail, you're gonna go ahead and use your buffer and buff the nails. And the buffer is just basically like an extra step to make sure you don't have any drill bit lines in your nails. You're just further smoothing out <laughs> the nails, making sure it's super smooth so that when we go and apply that polish, that polish just slide on there like butter, baby.
Okay, so after you buff the nails, you instruct your client to go wash their hands. Obviously, I did not record this part. So this part is my client coming back and I'm dehydrating her nails again with the rubbing alcohol. When your client goes to wash their hands, if they have acrylic or if they're doing their natural nails, if you are laying gel polish, you do not want them to use the hand soap. The hand soap has oils or whatever in it and it's going to disrupt the gel polish and it's going to cause chipping. We do not want chipping, period. So when you tell your clients to go wash their hands, you tell them no soap. Ideally, you will have little scrubbies at your sink so that your client can scrub all of that dust and debris off of their nails. So when you go to apply the gel polish, again, it is smooth. There's nothing on the surface. But once your client comes back from the sink, you're gonna go back in and you're gonna wipe the nail down with rubbing alcohol. We want that surface to be dry, period. We don't want no oils. We don't want nothing on it. We want that surface to be dry. So when we lay our gel polish, the gel polish lasts. And your client is not gonna come back in a week or a couple days time about some, oh my, my gel polish chipped, it chipped, it chipped. No, 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 no. So do it properly. Your client washes their hands. If they're getting gel polish, no soap. When they come back and sit in your chair, you're making sure you're going back over those nails with rubbing alcohol. Wipe it down with rubbing alcohol because we want that surface to be dry. I don't even care if you want to, if you want to be extra and you put dehydrator on it, go ahead and put dehydrator on it. It's not gonna hurt it, who cares? But you want that surface to always be as dry as it can be when we're laying down our gel polish. I've said this in previous videos, but I'm gonna say it again in this video because you may not have seen my other videos. When you are doing your polish, now standard, industry standard is base coat, two layers of the color and top coat. Sometimes three layers of the color, if it is a light or sheer color, you can do three layers with the third layer being a very light layer. However, standard is always base, two layers of the color and a top coat. I always use base. Quick little story, and I'm pretty sure I said it in an old video, but quick little story, I did an experiment. One time I did my nails, I did acrylic nails, I did not use base, and I did my toes and I did not use base. And I did a client and I did not use base. And all of us, <laughs> both of us had lifting in a matter of within a week. I had lifting on my hands and my feet and she had lifting on her hands. And ever since then, I said, I'm using base no matter what. You're gonna do what you wanna do. And you, if you're working in a salon, the salon may say, hey, don't use base. You don't have to use base on acrylic. Only use it on natural nose. Listen, I use base whether it's natural nose, whether it's acrylic, whether it's toes, I don't care. It's only two minutes. It's two extra minutes on your time. It's not that deep. Use the base coat so we can ensure that our client is not coming back within a week or a couple days to a week complaining about lifting or chipping or any of the things. We want that polish to last. In this video to save storage on my phone, I only recorded me using one coat of the color, but I did do two coats of the color. Like I said, a base, two coats of the color, and I did a top coat. Now this is an extra step, but at the end of my service, I go in with my shea butter and I go ahead and massage the client's hands. 
Massaging is a part of the service. However, you can use regular lotion or in my case, I use shea butter. It's a little bit more thicker, a little bit more richer. And my shea butter smell good, period. So I'll go ahead with the shea butter and massage the client's hands. And then once I'm finished rubbing the shea butter in, I go ahead and with a hot towel and cover their hands with a hot towel so that their pores can open, their shea butter can get on in them pores and make that skin nice and smooth and soft. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe and like my channel and also follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok. I will link those links in my description box. Thank you. See you in the next video.